Yes, she can retire. Why am I yelling? Because I am stoked. I love this stuff. I, man, I, 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 uh, <laughs> oh, man. All right, so here's this lady. She writes me, and uh, she, I remember she had written me uh, you know, a couple of years ago or something like that up from Washington. And the names will be uh, uh, protected to, wait, the names will be kept anonymous to protect the, what's the word I'm looking for? To protect the awesome, if that makes sense. All right. Hey, Josh, sorry about this long rambling email. I wanted, I am wanting to retire now and will, if the election is corrected and uh, whatever. Uh, uh, but hoping for the right outcome, she says. All right. Because of you, I have totally changed my life and finances. I used to believe I couldn't retire until I sa unless I saved one to a one million to five million dollars, and I was so depressed, I would have to work until I dropped dead. Because of you, I learned I could and should retire from my crappy little job much earlier. Thank you. I downsized, became debt free, and left a high paying job that was killing me, and moved to the sunshine and warmth of freedom of Florida this summer. I'm 60, and I'm looking to retire soon now. I'm trying to figure out how to do it in the next year or so. Can I survive on my retirement savings long enough to get to 65 when my pension kicks in? I know I have to figure out health insurance. I may have to work a low-stress, part-time job in order to get health insurance. I don't want to spend down all my retirement to get to 65. I'm in various uh, Vanguard Index stock funds, and I've done pretty well. Since I was 16, I always worked multiple jobs. And uh, the line of work she's in, she's worked for the last 35 years. I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, I, I've even had some side hustles like Uber. Um, but I'm exhausted. I was thinking of retiring my stressful jobs and working part-time to get insurance and bringing some cash to limit pulling from my retirement uh, to last until I'm 65. Between part-time jobs and driving for Uber, I hope to bring it in between 24 and 48K, K a year. The worst case scenario, I could would have the, uh, I can't understand what she's saying there. But then again, she says she has no debt. She sold her big expensive home in Washington and paid cash for a smaller cute home in the villages. Uh, prior to moving, I paid, uh, prior to moving, I worked a ton of OT uh, just to pay off my credit card to new car loans. So she, basically she said, look, man, I got a goal and I'm going to freaking work like a crazy man to pay off this stuff. And now she's got that goal. She sold her big home up there in Washington State, moved to Florida, the village's cash money. My bare bones expenses are about $2,000 a month. If I use my retirement as a backup to cover any big expenses like a new roof or air conditioner. Um, but I think I'm probably looking at $3,500 a month is going to be her typical expenses. That does not include uh, health insurance, by the way. So that's another issue until 65. But even then, it's going to be an issue. So we're looking at about $4,000 a month when all said and done. Uh, she loves the barbell. Uh, she does have a pension. She worked at 35 years in the same employer. Notice that is a big deal. And there's no uh, there's no uh, WEP, uh, elimination, uh, windfall elimination provision, because she was paying the Social Security. Uh, she does have a 401k, individual Roth, and aggressively invested with Vanguard. Uh, she's working to save cash for her barbell. Um, she needs a, a mass. She's trying to amass enough cash to cover two to five years' expenses. Um, this summer, I started working uh, in some, I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, they offer a Roth TSP, so she's working for the federal government or the, a government uh, job. I can contribute. Uh, I'm up 60, 60 years old. Uh, you said the rules. Okay. Okay. So the long email boils down to I want to max out saving cash for the cash bucket. Uh, can I save into a Roth TSP or just do the contribution and save the rest outside of Roth IRA, which, yeah. Um, can I quit my crappy job? Okay, so basically, she's still in the same line of work she's been in for the last 35 years, just down in Florida, uh, working in a, a, a for the government, which is fine, you know what I'm saying? But she's still doing it. She's tired. She's like, man, I'm just, I just, I'm tired, tired. Um, she doesn't say how much she has put aside, but so when we're looking at say four thousand bucks a month, so you think about it. Let's just say she has three hundred thousand set aside. I don't know what she has, but just say she did. When she hits 65, uh, she'll be on Medicare, all right? So we'll just say 300,000. So I take my trusty thing right here, 300,000 bucks set aside. 
At 65, she'll be on Medicare. And we're going to say she needs 4K a month in expenditures. All right, she's going to get a pension. Um, and uh, she's going to, how much is it? So she's going to get a pension plus Social Security. Uh, I can't tell when she's going to take her. I'm, it looks like she's saying she's going to have, let's just say 2000 a month for Social Security and 2000 a month for pension. At 65. We're just going to say at 65. So that's 4K a month. So, I, and I, just, I don't know what she, she didn't say, but let's just say 4K a month expenses, 4K a month between Social Security and a pension. And she still has $300,000. All right, so let's just say she needs, I don't know, 5K a month uh, until then. All right, so we'll, and she's not going to, but let's just say she needs, well, hell, let's just say she needs 4K a month until then. Because she'll probably be able to get... Uh, um, I, I, she, 3,500, let's just say 4k a month. So she needs four, 48,000 a year until, uh, 65. She's 60 now. She needs 48k a year. So we just simply take, um, 48k divided by 300. That's 16% a year. So, I mean, she doesn't want to get the full 48k from her, uh, uh from a 401k but i mean my goodness if she were to do that she's i mean she's basically that would exhaust this amount of money right here if she were to take that so because that's roughly going to be after tax and everything if she only had three hundred thousand bucks that that probably that that would basically exhaust that. and we don't want to do that i mean so once she hits uh, uh 65 she's fine uh because her pension and social security kick in i don't know when her Pension can kick in before that. I don't know. I don't know when. I mean, she could take a Social Security um, earlier than that, too. But that, that'd be a little bit of a challenge. And, and, but if we're sitting here thinking she doesn't have. Uh, so we're sitting here. Let's, so let's just think about this. She has 300000 And again, I'm just using it. I don't know. But this would be applicable for a lot of you. She's going to be fine when she hits 65. All right. She'll be fine because at that point she can take pension and she's single. Take a freaking Social Security. No big deal. Those two sources of income are going to cover her cash, without question. And that's not even cons considering her dropping her expenses later on. But what does she do between now and uh, 65? All right, so let's think about this. She needs 48 k a year. All right, well, if she took Social Security early, well, that'd be something to consider. But just think about this, 48 k a year. Hmm, what could she do for 48 k a year? And I'm saying even she goes on ACA, Obamacare. That's part of that 4000 what could you do for 48k or tons of things, man? So if we take a 48,000, divide that by 2,080, that's a full 40-hour uh, work week. That's 23 bucks an hour. So could she do something part-time? Could she work? I mean, there's tons of things she could do. So instead of taking, uh, let's just say she works part-time at, you know, 15 bucks an hour, all right? So she works part-time, uh, not uh, well, yeah, part-time. So we'll say she makes 24,000 a year part-time. So now she needs, she doesn't need 48K a year off that portfolio. She needs 24K because she's going to work part-time at 24,000 uh, 24, a year. So now she needs 24K off that 300 bucks. All right, so 24K times five, that's 125,000 bucks that she's going to take. So let's re eliminate this because we know once she gets to 65, she's fine, man. Because she'll have more income coming in than going out. It's a done deal. So if, if she works 20 hours a week, part-time, at you know, freaking making, I don't know, 24000 a year, uh, she'll have to pull the remainder from this, all right, right there. And we'll just say it's going to be twenty five k a year because of taxes. So we do twenty five k, and she needs it for five years. So that's $125,000. Oops. All right, so just erase this. So she needs twenty five k a year for five years. That's 125000 bucks. Might as well. And let's just say she makes no earnings whatsoever, nothing. She still has 175000 in there, man. And she's got more money coming in at sixty five than going out the door. And she's got a house paid for. We're not even talking reverse mortgage or anything. And that's assuming no growth on there. So $175,000, let's times that by 5%. Oops. That's another basic 9000 a year. At five percent, so now she's got nine thousand a year off this one hundred seventy-five thousand plus her social security 
and her pension, which is more than enough for a spending on living on, she has no debt. She can always take a reverse mortgage. I, look, if she's, I'm just saying, if you're freaking miserable, we just got to back this up into bite-sized chunks. Say, okay, what if I did this? Well, I don't have health insurance. So go on the Obamacare, go on MediShare. I mean, I assume she's in pretty good shape if she's been in her line of work that I'm not going to say what she's in. I mean, go on MediShare. All kinds of things. Dude. Listen to what Carol said last night on the uh, the Indy Gardener. Oh, there's so many things you can do here. But you got to start off and you got to you know, uh, reverse engineer it. Work part-time. You know what I'm saying? Work part-time. Just uh, do Uber. I don't care what you do. But if you're doing Uber for 24,000 a year, that inherently means you only need 24,000 a year left from your portfolio. And you only need it for five years. All right? So you don't have as much in five years as you do now. What's the point of saving money? The whole point about saving money is to spend it when retirement comes. There's no magic number that says retirement's got to be 65. Ugh. I can't tell you how many people call, well, I don't want to touch the principal. I'm like, why? What's the point? It's okay to touch the principal. It goes down a little bit, and then you get in retirement. You have more money coming in, going out. Your principal's gonna go back up. Ah! Anyway, I love stories like this. If that doesn't fire you up, nothing's gonna, man. Just remember, reverse engineer it. I will right, we'll see you guys. Love to hear your comments.